everyone, welcome today to another video. And this video, I've done a TikTok on this. Um, and I thought I could make it actually a little more in depth and make several videos relating to certain metals that you can use in spirituality and what you can do um, with the magical properties of them. Or just overall what they're used in spirituality. Maybe to, you know, help you find which one you'd like to work with more in your craft. Kind of like with crystals, but with metals instead. <laughs> so, today's video, I am going to be talking about gold. Gold in spirituality. Um, and, yeah. So first things first, I got my journal, my grimoire here. <laughs> I'll show you guys real quick. This is eh, if I could do this right, how it looks. And I'm going to be reading some other things that I've written down. Also, this is what the set looks like. <laughs> so gold and spirituality. Gold is considered to be healing and enlightening. It helps with your spiritual development by allowing yourself to both attain and maintain communion, communion with the source of all being, to help you in pursuit of spiritual growth and transformation. It is purity and symbolizes purity. It is considered the flesh of the gods within Egypt as well. It is divinity. <clears throat> Uh, and there's a reason why it's so pricey and expensive to to have. <laughs> um, I did want to let you guys know that the information that I am writing down into my grimoire and exposing, or not exposing, but telling you guys, I kind of gathered a lot of information and wrote it down here so it would be a little more easier for me to talk to you guys and a little more organized for me. <laughs> um, it is associated with the third eye and crown chakra and can help with any ailments within these areas. Examples such as stress, anger, depression, trauma, um, and negativity, and so forth. You can use it to heal a lot of physical problems within your body as well. Examples would be your respiratory system, almost got tongue tied, <laughs> arthritis. Um, dyslexia to rejuvenate your skin and even help with tissue repair. Um, it can also be used, of course, to attract wealth, health, good luck, good fortune. It can be used to, to do a lot of those things. Um, also, there are three types of gold. There's astral gold, associated with the sun, communicates its rays to all inferior beings and receives a continual emanation. I'm oh, sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing things, but it's where you <laughs> um, of solar corp corpsless. I'm oh, sorry, guys. That penetrates all things sentient, vegetable, and mineral. <laughs> Elementary gold is the purest and fixed it portions of the elements. And then vulgar gold, the best nature, the best that nature can produce, and it is perfect as is. Um, gold is associated with the sun, the solar energy of the sun, zodiac Leo, and it is masculine energy. However, from what I have noticed and learned about, you can also use it with feminine energy. It kind of can be universal, but it is more towards masculine energy. So, again, I will show you guys. But yes. Um, and so, I wanted to also discuss why you know, of course, it's very good for enlightenment to wear. Um, it's kind of similar to how copper is. Um, copper is another really good metal to work with in your spirituality and to wear. Because it also, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 
it also, what is it called, amplifies your energy, and that's what, <laughs> uh, brain, brain, brain fart, <laughs> it amplifies your energy the same way as copper does, and that is with gold, gold amplifies your energy, like copper, <laughs> um, so it, it's very good to work with and use if you can um, obtain some and wear some. Um, it is also very protective and, you know, you can definitely use it in Glamour Magic. I would highly suggest using it in Glamour Magic because they have to, they have made, you know, the gold foil masks, they made um, serums that you could be using on your face, um, and so forth. I would also say that your ancestors, well most of them, gods and goddesses, basically the higher up <laughs> for their like, spirituality, is they they like metals. And what I mean by that is <clears throat> you know, silver and gold. <laughs> Definitely gold because of what it represents. It is divine. So you you know, when you I think in um, um, the ghost month and when people, you know, burn joss paper for their ancestors or hell money, they also have the gold foil kind and they also have gold ingots and those you can also use um, within your workings as well as offerings. Just like the same similar way as you would with the joss paper. Um, but like I said, they do make gold foil joss paper, which is also very helpful and useful. <laughs> um, so yes, I, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted, wanted to keep it short and simple and sweet. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe you guys can write some things down below for the community, uh, which you find is really helpful with gold today's topic is gold, <laughs> um, you know, and how you incorporate into your craft. Um, I will also say that the energy that gold gives off, for what I've noticed, oh, it's such a nice energy. <laughs> it is just, it's so smooth. It's soothing, it's warm, it's such a, a I guess like a loving, comfortable feeling, kind of like you, you're getting this nice hug from someone and you just, you just don't want them to let go because it's just, it's such a great feeling. <laughs> um, and probably the reason why it's really sought after, I would think. Um, of course there's other reason why it's expensive and stuff, but you know. <laughs> um, I would also just just putting it out there, I would also actually invest in trying to get um, gold bullion, bullion, or bars. They do sell like grains, like one grain, three grains. I think three grains is twenty-five dollars. Um, I would at least get one gram, or you could invest in getting a one ounce coin or a one ounce bar. Um, and a place that I have found out is Atmex. There is JM Bullion and SE Bullion. Um, those are the places that I would highly suggest getting some stuff from. SE also sells some stuff, but I don't know how reliable they are. <laughs> um, and of course, on the side of that, uh, you could also, they have, so in my opinion, I think this would be really good. I know I'm making this video longer. Shoot. <laughs> in my opinion, uh, a lot of people don't like to buy gold backs or gold foil um, notes. I think that would be a very good option to have and have it on your altar if you're using that for your ancestors or for a god or goddess. Kind of as an offering because it is gold, it's gold foiled. There's not a lot of money and they look cool. And I think they would just be really good for spiritual work. <laughs> uh, but yes, you know, sorry to keep this video going on for longer. But I hope you all have a very good day. 
and I will talk with you all later. <laughs> Bye.